Now, we could just easily uh, do this for another, um, 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 any level, really. And, and let's just do this. Instead of uh, using, um, using 100, we just, do, uh, we just call it a threshold. We just call it TH. And let's just say we do it at 200, right? And then we replace these with TH. And then we just say here TH plus 10. Okay. And we run this again. And look at this. There wasn't anything, um, which is interesting. But you can see these were our final. Uh, you remember we plotted the final values previously, and they only went to 154. So actually, that's not supposed to, there's not supposed to be anything there. Okay, because we're already beyond the price. Now, um, perhaps a better thing to do is maybe use 120, and then we know there's something happening here, possibly. Mm -hmm. And you can see, that's interesting. At 120, we get more than one entry and exit. We go 124, 134, we make 9.8. 124, 131. So it's actually... The price is actually oscillating, right, between those prices. You can see that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, and, you know, it's not, it's obviously a really simple and, and almost like pretty stupid trading strategy because, like, well, we, you know, we know the price goes through there. So, so it's nothing interesting here. But it illustrates already a few of the issues that we have when we build automated trading strategies, and it's not that straightforward. Now, another thing is this. You know, at the moment, we're just calculating a dollar value, yeah? And, and we, make, um, we make like, you know, $10 or something on, on this Apple trade if we trade one share of Apple. Now, what about we trade a stock of uh, let's say that costs only $1 and, and, and we exit at $1.1. Does that just mean we make less profit? Or what's, what do you think? So, Maybe. so if we, you know, shocks really stock price is much, much lower. Does that mean our strategy is just not so profitable? Mm, I wouldn't say so because it's like, it always depends on the percentage, right? Because like, if you have to buy in for a hundred to get like 110, or like you buy in for a buck and get a buck and 10. <laughs> I, I think it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, you're right. But, you know, clearly, like if we if we had to do this, uh, we would then effectively, let's say if we go from one to $1.10, we would have to buy a hundred of these uh, stocks to get to the same point. Okay. But... That means, oh, we have to do a whole bunch of calculations of, of, you know, because maybe it's at 54 and you want it to go to 54 point blah, blah, blah. And then it becomes quite tricky, right? Because you have to, you know, you have to then calculate how many shares you actually want to mm -hmm. trade. Is there maybe an easier way? Hmm. What do you reckon? Well, that's a good question. Mm. There is actually. Um, but really what is it? Sure. All right. Well, it's actually really simple, and you already said it. It's mm -hmm. the percentage difference. Because if, if we just calculate the percentage difference, it doesn't really matter where we start, right? We could basically just say, well, if we put 100,000 in, we make 10%. If we put $50 in, we also make 10%. But Whatever dollar value we put in first, it's it's irrelevant it, as long as we just calculate the percentages, right? Mm -hmm. And so, how can we do this? is is relatively um is relatively straightforward and extremely useful. So what we do is here see where we have price minus entry, yeah. All we need to do then is we put this in brackets, and we divide it by the entry price. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying now is we have the price difference divided by the starting price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's basically the 
percentage, if, if we multiply it by 100, that's the percentage change. Does that make sense? So it's the difference divided by the starting value. So when we go entry, right? And then um, we just uh, basically uh, do this again. And now you can see here, see this? Mm -hmm. 0 0.078, that's basically 7.8%, mm -hmm. that's 6.0%. We could, of course, now say PNL uh, times 100. That, that will give us the percentage values, okay? Mm -hmm. So now 7.88%, 6.01, and And now we can do this uh, for any any price that we want, like let's say 56, right? We can just say, okay, um, if we start at 56, hey, you know, we make 17% in mm -hmm. one trade. So that makes it much easier because if we put um, $100 in, we make $17 on that trade. If we put $100,000 in, we make uh, $17,000. So uh, it's much easier for us to actually check out or detail uh, what uh, what the profit is that we make. So working with percentage profits normalizes a lot of these uh, things and it makes it a bit easier.